This is a bar chart, measured in trillion British thermal units, showing energy use in U.S. commercial buildings by a major end uses in 2012. Space heating used the most energy, using around 1, 750 trillion British thermal units and accounting for 25% of energy use. Cooking and water heating used the least energy, both using around 500 trillion British thermal units and accounting for 7% of energy use. Overall, space heating used the most energy in U.S. commercial buildings, while cooking and water heating used the least. This is a bar graph comparing the revenue, in millions, and gross margin, in percent, of Apple since iPhone launch. The gross margin had a high of around 46% in quarter 1F 2012 and a low of around 32% in quarter 2F 2008. Revenue has increased relatively consistently, with a low of around $5 billion in quarter 3F 2007 and high of around $55 billion in Q4F 2012. In conclusion, gross margin was highest for Apple since iPhone launch in quarter 1F 2012 and lowest in Q2F 2008. Revenue was highest in quarter 4F 2012 and lowest in quarter 3F 2007. The chart displays the climate for Acapulco from 1951 to 2010, measured in millimeters and Celsius. The temperature fluctuates over the year, with the coldest months from January to May, rising from 26 degrees to 28 degrees, and the warmest months from June to September at just over 28 degrees. The least precipitation can be found from February to April and the wettest months were from June to September at 250 to 300 mm of rainfall. Overall, the coldest months are from January to May while the most precipitation is from June to September.
This process shows the Arctic food chain from algae to polar bears. Algae are eaten by diatoms, which is then eaten by copods. These copods are eaten by the Arctic cods. Following this, Arctic cods are eaten by ringed seals. Finally, polar bears eat ringed seal. According to this process, polar bears are at the top of the food chain and have no natural predators. In conclusion, there are various stages in the Arctic food chain. This process shows the life cycle of an apple tree, which starts from seeds that grow into seedlings. Firstly, an apple seed goes into the soil and grows into a seedling, a small plant. This seedling develops into a tree. Next, the tree begins to flower. With the help of insect pollination, apple flowers then turn into apples, making the tree a fruit-bearing tree. Finally, seeds from the apple makes its way to the soil starting the process once more in conclusion there are a number of stages in the life cycle of an apple tree The process shows two examples of input process output. The first example shows materials as the input, factories as the process and the product as the output. In the second example, data is the input, the process uses computers, and information is the output. In conclusion, there can be various examples of input process output.
This is a world map showing population density, measured per square kilometer. The most common color on the map is light pink, indicating areas where the population density is between 0 to 25 per square kilometer. The least common color is black, indicating a population density of between 1500 to 9000 per square kilometer. Overall, the map shows that areas with lower population density are more common than areas with higher population density. The two maps show the range of photosynthetically and non-photosynthetically active vegetation in Australia. In Map A, non-photosynthetically active vegetation was found in the southern coasts of the continent, which is shown in blue, while photosynthetically can be seen in the northern and eastern coasts, which is displayed in green. Map B emphasizes bare vegetation in the middle of the country, indicated in red. In conclusion, the majority of the country is bare of vegetation.